All right, we're going to turn this half inch by half inch by two and a half into a boring ball or holder on the lathe. So, to maximize concentricity, we will just bore the boring bar into the axis of the lathe. We will take our blank piece of work and mount it in the tool post. Instead of mounting the tool, we'll mount the work. In this case, to get a start here, we will We've got an automatic center punch. Things are fantastic. And we will click. Kind of fun. Now we've got a little uh, divot to work with. Now, in order to make sure that we are actually parallel to the bore with our Part. I'm going to back off the cross feed. We are going to mount this is some uh, 3 8 drill rod right here into the chuck, feeding in from the uh, spindle bore. This drill rod's pretty true and perfect, so we can make sure. And I'm pretty darn close. All right, so that should be guys pretty true because we are going to a 3 8 inch hole. It's gonna get pretty close, pretty close to the sides of that uh, stock. So the last thing we want to do is drill out the side and we just gotta start all over again. And that's a lame, lame day. And just using the tip of our center drill here, we'll get our cross feed back. All right, center drilling op done. And we'll go to this quarter inch. Yeah, I didn't pick up any heat at all, so that's nice. That's... There we go, look at that. Should do it. There we go. All right, final pass, three eighths. Let's uh, see if this crackpot idea works. We'll try turning it down a little bit. Get a little chatter there. Figure out a better way to use a spray shape. It ships with this, my goodness gracious. I guess that means it's sharp. That's it. So that went uh, that went pretty well. Pretty pleased with the way that uh, 
deburr the bore with, uh, this is a little Noga deburring tool. These things are neat. They're like two bucks. Uh, works gangbusters on aluminum. Okay, on steel so far, looks like. A little notch of something there. There we go. I got it out. Uh, anyway, nicely done. Hold and touch the sides. I got a little close on the one side here. Uh, setup would have prevented that, but it seems to come through. It looks like it's even closer on this side, but um, I think that's just there's a, there's a kind of a nick in the middle there. So it's a little bit more setup time probably would have prevented that. But uh, looking pretty good. And uh, now we're going to do a couple cross holes and tap them. Well, apparently it wasn't recording when I uh, drilled those holes, so use your imagination of what a drill press looks like. And I put two holes in this side. So sorry about that. All right, well, not super perfect, but uh, nice, quick, easy project. Okay, so I don't have <laughs> matching eight, uh, 832, 840, whatever this is, 832. I don't have matching my bolts yet, but uh, as you can see, this goes in the tool holder as such. And then we take our boring bar, carbide tipped in this case, Slide it in, fits like a glove. And voila, now our round shank boring bar now fits in our flat four way tool post. Also, but wait, there's more. Also works for this internal boring tool with replaceable tips that I made out of some drill rod. So I'll have to go back to the hardware store, get some uh, some proper rub screws, something, and uh, that's it. Fun, easy, quick project uh, using, using the lathe as a uh, boring machine, boring mill I guess you'd call that, and putting the workpiece where the tool normally goes. So, kind of fun.